Hello everyone and welcome for a new tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, ethics transition. Uh, you've been a couple to ask me to make a tutorial about how to make transition between the part of your track. So this track it's from the live stream I've done about Ra Techno. And so I in the live stream I told you that I will show you how I made the SFX. So Let's have a look. Here is all the part. Here you can see it's like every time there is a small break. So here is without the without SFX. All right, it's it worked pretty well without SFX anyway, and with SFX. So usually I'm I'm not really a big fan of SFX. I mean I try to use them as less as I can. Uh you see it's mainly like every time there is after a kind of break, I use them. Some people use them as well, you know, between before the break to make the transition easier, but I don't know. It depends. Sometimes I use them as well here. Before the break, sometimes no for this track, no. And yes, yeah, so the first element uh, is noise. I've done a video how to make your own noise FX. And you know, this one, it's... Sorry, it was all low. Okay, with the automation. I try to vary a little bit, even if it's quite hard to don't have the same all over the track. And I try to don't as well overuse it because too many noise transition is after it's just annoying. Um and then the other kind of transition, so basically it's FX clap, it's FX that I created from a clap. All right, same with the ride. So this I'm gonna show you as well. Uh, FX sand, so this is really nice if you need to introduce a sand, for example, this one, in this case it was this sound. So I sampled this sound sound and I've created this as a fix with good way to introduce a scent. And finally the crash one. So this is basically a 909 crash that I've just you just take a crash, you put it like this, and then you duplicate, double click, reverse, tack, and you put it there, and you have. All right, it's adding different texture to the track. I'm just gonna remove this noise because it's annoying. Yeah, usually this you have to flatten, but I keep it for the tutorial. Okay, so, what I'm usually doing is I'm picking up the drum that I've used on the track. So the clap, snare, open eye hat, crash, right. And then I put them into a drum rack. And usually I process them. And to make this kind of effect like this one, it's a lot of... It's a clapping reverb. So I decided to... I, I was no my intention to create an effect track for this video but on the end i say why not so let me explain you this rack um you have high pass filter to make and low pass filter to make the kind of dj effect uh you know for example i think you 
know which kind of effect I'm talking about. Uh, it's not really, it's not really working well on this track, honestly. But I'm just gonna show you. You know, it's it's. Like this or the opposite, you know, if you, if you wanna go down and then after just before the drop bring back the high frequency. Okay, and so then you have a delay, a reverb, a frequency shifter and a compressor. So yeah, basically when you have the, oh sorry, this is the clap try, and you're gonna want to add some reverb, and so let me duplicate this one, oh, just to keep this one safe in case you have the clap. Oh no. I wanted to clap. All right. So if you want longer tail, the freeze button is to activate the freeze of the reverb. So this is without the freeze. And when you activate the freeze effect, basically it's like freezing the tail. So the tail is like kind of infinite. You can add delay. All right, this is really nice after when you flatten, I'm gonna show you later, when you flatten the, the UFX and you reverse it, it's giving a nice effect. Um, length is similar to freeze, it's just the compressor who's gonna make your tail longer if you want like long SFX. So let me show you, this one is gonna be short. And wait, it's gonna duplicate. And this one is gonna be long. Oh yeah, you can see it. You see the tail is way much longer. So depend if you want a long transition, you can make it long. If you just want a short one, just don't put, all right. Latin. All right, you can see. It just consolidate control G. Control G. And you can see like, I'm just put up more gain. But you can see like both way from this one con got way more longer tail than the other one. So yeah, depend for what kind of effect I'm gonna just keep the short one because I'm not really interesting in the long one. And so once you've done that, have this long reverb. What I'm usually doing is to duplicate, double click, reverse here, up. Now you put Club here, but the thing is, if it's like this, it sounds shitty like this. Yeah, you have this horrible like reverse clap effect. So what I'm usually doing, I'm just cutting around here, and same size on the other side, like this up. Oh, sorry, I just cut both parts, bring them back together, and usually I don't even. Yeah, way much more smoother. And then you got a really similar effect to the one I've done before. Yeah, this one is even better actually. <laughs> anyway, you don't really hear it after in all the mix. All right. And then the last parameter pitch. So this one is you could I could have done it for the rack for the clap. I'm gonna do it for the yeah for the open I had. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna 
Okay. And the cool thing with the pitch, and you can automate and doing like. And you got you. All right, and you got. You see, you have this ditching pitch, which is really interesting effect. And then you can just freeze, flatten, consolidate, control G. All right, and then. Duplicate, reverse, up, and then with the pitch you're gonna have this like rising effect. Alright. So same, then usually you cut this two stuff. Oh, and... So this is kind of sounding kind of a bit of EDM, but in the track, if it's, if the effect is subtle and you don't, you should be like very discreet, very subtle, and it's it's what I done for this one, and you even almost don't hear it on the end. It's very subtle. All right, and then you can do exactly the same for all the other element of your track and then after you got yeah like this so then after i try to don't make always the same transition you know i try to vary a little bit you know this one if it's a short break don't This one I put it because the ride is coming, so... <laughs> so yeah, I'm usually not a big fan of SFX, uh, I'm gonna probably at the mixing stage putting them a little bit lower in terms of volume um and yes i think i show you everything oh sorry get rid of this noise so yeah so that's the rack uh really 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 handful i didn't want it to told you how i told you what to do it at the beginning but then I say, okay, let's do it because it's like this. You don't have to drop it on your track and you can do a couple of automation. Uh, one other thing, yeah, with this effect, you can even add a little bit of reverb after, you know, to make them less, less dry, you know, depends your taste. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Do not hesitate to like, share, thumb up on the video. You can as well follow me on Instagram and Facebook under the name Audio React. You have the link in the description. You got the link for the Audio Effect Track as well in the description. I hope you like this video and see you next week for the live stream.